It's Wednesday, 23rd of April 2024, and my name is Jacob Junior Mungesi. Welcome to the PowerPoint show here on MGD TV. Unlike the other days, of course, today um, I happen to be having somebody who is an epitome of energy when he speaks he will feel the ground shaking um, okay i'm just using that to best describe what uh how people feel or what happens in places where he happens to speak uh, is somebody who has been the politics of universities and uh, from what we are hearing and what we see he may be uh seeking for a much bigger position and who knows very soon we might be seeing him far beyond where we are seeing him now. Uh, Mr. I most welcome to the PowerPoint show and may you please introduce yourself to our viewers. Uh, well, thank you so much uh, to all our dear viewers and listeners. Yeah. My name is Marcelo Karobat, 89th Guild President of Makere University, aspiring member of Parliament 2026 Mukono South Constituents. I hope you can already feel the energy in somebody when he begins speaking. Uh, if you're going to ask him, for sure you'll uh, get threatened. But I have to promise you that I'm not threatened. And I hope you answer that you are. I mean, the questions some of you uh, sent me earlier on in the morning are going to be answered. He's with us. Uh, Masaru Karobat has been a president just as he has told you, the 89th president of Makere University. And Makere University is one of the universities in this country that have been known for producing quality leaders. Uh, and you may, if you make some good research, you realize the parliament of Uganda is having many of the students coming from Makere. We have Honorable Mbide, whom we all know is a problem when it comes to speaking, not only in speaking, but of course, uh, we really see the impacts they have caused in their areas where they lead. Now, Masaruka, you happen to affiliate yourself to a, a political party, uh, which is known for uh, having, if not the majority, could be having more of the youths than other parties in the country. Tell me how it feels belonging to such a party, and uh, does is it a, why why that party why uh, why NUP why not NRM and why not FDC yeah I uh, thank you so much uh, I think first of all we um, need to understand that people join political parties for different reasons yes and uh, as a person we affiliate or associate based on uh, article 29 of the Constitution uh, we have the freedom too yeah and uh, we based on where we feel comfortable Different people have reasons why they support different political parties. People are in NRM for different reasons. But as far as I know, um, people power that later are transformed into the national unity platform uh, is one that is trying to bring out a voice of a wanainchi, of uh, a common Ugandan. In Makere, you say a common Makerean. Yeah, a common Ugandan uh, uh, or a common citizen. So we feel uh, that for, for, for us to have an understanding of what democracy is, power should be by the people, yes, and for the people. So it should be understood that we as youths uh, at such a time, especially those that have gone through campus, uh, I, I can say we have had the chance to be educated and have, I mean, a leverage on these grounds. We feel that we can be best represented, yes, in a political party, where we can freely associate, that is point number one. But also, secondly, where our views can be had for all the past time. And I think um, uh, President Yori Kaguta Museveni, in, uh, before him taking uh, power, and that is in the 1980s, when they decided to go with, to the bush, he looked for fellow youths. And they went to the bush. And their reasoning was uh, they wanted to transform our country into a better Uganda that they felt they would. Meaning at their early ages of 20, 25, 27, they already had a picture of what they thought this country should be. I don't know now who tells them or any other person now that youths at this time cannot determine what a country should be in the next 30 or 40 years to come. Mm -hmm. And this is what makes us, this is what brings us here, this is what makes us join the National Unity Platform because we feel there is the best representation of all Ugandans as citizens. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, President Yori Kagutam Seven should be part of the National Unity Platform because, <laughs> and, and, and the people power because it represents the people of Uganda where he is a citizen as well. So if he really feels there need to be a voice to the mm -hmm. Ugandans and the youths mm -hmm. at the present day, it would be wise enough that uh, he gets onto the mantle, mm -hmm. number one, at, uh, at a time where he should be handing over power, but also 
where we are now, he sh we, we should be seeking knowledge from him. That when things fail, he has already called, identified himself as a judge. <laughs> that at a point like this, we must be picking knowledge from him. President Yori Kaguta himself, we need to appreciate, is too intelligent because no one of idiocracy can ever rule only the country for 40 years. So we need to understand that he's bright enough. But his knowledge now is not worth reading. It should be put to certain books. He needs to involve himself into writing. Such that from that knowledge you can read from and also pick his knowledge from there. But we need people that can best represent, uh, best represent Ugandans at a time that we are living now. Because that which affected them in the dispensation where they were living is not now. Problems may, not, may be the same, but the solutions are not. I don't think he best represents uh, the opinions of this country. But rather I think we have a leader already that is vying for power. Very energetic, very young. His Excellency. Uh, Honorable Senator Muchagulani, that is looking far as that office. He should be now, must, uh, 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 he must be mentoring other leaders to take up different positions. And that is what we expect out of him. A man of his knowledge and integrity should be uh, now mentoring others into leadership because the best success of a leader is when he has a successor. So, talking of, you've just praised the president for his wisdom and knowledge. Yes. And uh, should I say there are some things that uh, NUP as a party and uh, uh, its youths, there are some things it is trying to copy from the president because you've just praised his knowledge and wisdom. Should we say there are some things that the party uh, as NUP and as its youths because most, uh, the majority of the members are youths. Yes. So, should I say there are some things that you're copying from the president you hope to emulate? Yeah, I, 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 I'll say this, that um, we are in a country where I think now uh, the type of politics that we are in uh, has to change. For example, it is okay to appreciate that uh, 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 that President Yori Kaguta Museveni is, is, is intelligent, or probably even the people around him, because uh, 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 what, makes pres uh, what, what, what makes a success of a president are the people around him, those who advise him uh, into uh, what he does as a president. But I think it is also very intelligent of us as youths at such a time, yes, to pick knowledge from the past regimes, to pick knowledge for those that have been opposing the government. We need to pick it from a historical point of view so that at the end of the day, we don't fall into the same mistakes that our grandfathers fell into. There are things that we critique for this government. And the, the fact that we are critiquing means when we take over power, such things may never happen when youths, are taking, uh, when youths have taken over power in Uganda. Yeah? So yes, it is good to pick knowledge from them, but in a format of also understanding that we are here to add on to what has already existed and also try to make, uh, to correct some errors. Because as youth, we, we, we feel we are at a point that we should exercise our powers most, which is not in the country that we are living in. Those in the offices don't want to leave them. Those in political positions do not want to. Those that are working for different organizations in government do not want to leave too. The corruption in, 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 in Uganda does not even support us to join these different organizations. There are things we feel that you, if we are given a chance to lead with knowledge of those that have been there, we can add onto a stone to this country. Uh, the allegations and rumors everywhere that NUP as a party that is a way it is trying to push away the oldies in quotes and uh, trying to uh, brand NUP as a party for only youths. Are you trying to say that you want to have a country where it's only ruled by youths and the knowledge of some of these people can't work? Yes, you're from praising the president, but from the rumors that move around and from what sometimes we see, it's like the party is trying to distance itself from the elderly and trying to say now look it is time that you only have the wisdom and maybe the leadership of on, only the youths can it work really uh, but for, uh, for example i think that's a narrative just to uh, try to chase away old people from from this movement by the very leaders of the party right yeah, no not by the leaders of the party this is just pr some propaganda misinformation that is moving out there the national unity platform has old people and i'm telling you this the office of the president of the national unity platform, and that in my heart feel the president of Uganda, His Excellency Yoweri, uh, his, 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 his Excellency uh, Chagulani sent him for, for a fact. I know that he's being advised 
by people that are older than him. And that one I know. How old is Zebriga, our vice president? Is he in his 60s or 50s? Don't, don't you think now she's old enough? I mean, we would have had people of, of 30 as vice president. But we need also to understand that it comes naturally. It comes naturally that when you, when you, when you don't leave office peacefully, uh, forces, forces of change come for you. So it is just some propaganda passing around that maybe as a party we are trying to chase all people. No. We are learning from them. We don't want to repeat the same mistakes they made. And we feel also in their hearts they need to appreciate that they have worked enough and it is time for their children to also drum that they may dance. So it comes naturally that if they don't leave office automatically, they have made it clear that we need to fight for our space, which we are doing, and our flag bearer and our light bearer is our fellow youths, who, uh, our fellow youth who we believe in, and that is Honorable Chagulanyi Sentam, our president. And we can authoritatively say this because we have not been given enough time to associate with what we think this country is. Someone has come out with the ideas of the youths, and we feel we can best front our ideas. Picking experience from the past uh, uh, presidents and those that have been leading. Of recent, we have seen uh, uh, Honorable Mugisha Mutu, mm. who is older than the, our, our president. Of recent, we have seen uh, Honorable Chisa Besige, who is older than the president. I think he's speaking counsel from all of these people that at the end of the day, we may never make the same mistakes they made when they were getting to the points and that they failed from. That we may pick it from there, be the light bearers, and get this country to a better position. Uh, it is said that the opposite of the NUP are of current. Uh, they don't see any ideology that it is trying to front apart from propaganda. And some people believe uh, people like uh, veteran politicians like Dr. Kiza Vesia should come back and maybe try to change the narrative and take it back to where it was before. Yeah, yeah, I think it, it, it should be understood that people need to pick us from a point where we are, are trying to front a common cause. Sometimes Which our definition of what we feel mm. is, is represented is equality. But which common is cause? Equity. You see, we need that... to bring an end to corruption. We need to bring Uganda to an, 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 an equal ground where we all benefit and there is no tribalism and we mm. all have equal opportunities in a country because we are all citizens. This is what we are fronting. Mm. And to others, when we say this, they say we are spreading tribalism and so on. But this is the reality of what is happening in our country. Of, of course, it is like people don't understand your cause. You speak about it here, but you don't, okay, you tend to maybe speak about it in your bedrooms and doesn't and go out of the people. This we have made clear. The office of the president and the person of himself, Honorable Senator Muchagura, was clear when he was presenting his manifesto. It is unless Ugandans of a caliber that don't believe in the leadership and the trend that is coming on board that refuse to read that, uh, uh, that manifesto. We have a cause, we're not just coming from anywhere. We are coming to pick people that have been uh, 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 depressed enough and oppressed in this, in this country. That is the cause we carry. And we are making sure we're bringing this country to a better position where they also have opportunities to associate just like any citizen. Because they are also part and parcel of this country. So it is those that probably have got to positions and they have reached to, to, to a disease called the rivalism. They are in their financial orgasm and they don't feel any other person from a, 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 a position of ours can get to a standard of challenging the status quo and what is happening in Uganda today. So drawing, okay, now drawing your ideology in quotes yes. to uh, maybe to the benefit of the youths who make the highest percentage of the Ugandan population. 75%. Uh-huh. How, uh, how does your ideology in some way best fit the youths of this country? Uh, well, of course, now you need to understand that the, majorly the, the projects that are being run, uh, uh, we, have, we have seen uh, the, pres the president involving different youths. Um, for example, I'll, I'll give the best definition of uh, the institutions. In, the, in, in, in different universities and institutions of learning, we have seen the National Unity Platform trying to come up with projects that are trying to, uh, I, I mean, up, up, uh, uphold youths and also realize their talents and integrity. The major reason that the president 
uh, his, his excellence, Chagulani Center, which is doing right now, is open up the minds, which is much more important. Because you may never find him giving out money. Because even the money that, that we have seen the government trying to carry out different projects in Uganda, like Mioga, which later we came to parish development model, and the youth are still complaining up to today. So the best thing is to open up the minds and the brains of the youths of the time to take up positions that they can to make sure that this country gets to a better position where them, their fathers, and probably the children they are going to give birth to can, 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 can freely associate and be in. So he's opening up our minds, especially in institutions we are having dialogues, in institutions we are having um, uh, different activities in a political setting, we are having political training in the national unity platform, and, 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 and I think all these are opening up and getting us to realize of the state in which the country is and where we can get it uh, 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 as youths to, to, to a better position because that is where uh, the pres current sitting president, Yuri Kakuta Museven, picked it from as a youth. Mm. So I think we need to be, he also didn't start with different projects, probably giving out money also on, but he opened the minds of the youths then that they realized their role in the time, which is happening right now. I don't know what makes whichever uh, people in government that gets them thinking that what they did then we cannot do now, yet we are in the same age. Uh, uh, talking of that, I, the, the president of the National Unity Platform is quoted one time during one of his speeches saying, whosoever can contest, let them contest. And uh, we've seen, I think because of that, we are seeing very many youths coming out to contest, even those whom we feel or people feel are not capable of taking over such positions that they want to contest for. Do you feel he's right to just say whosoever can contest, can contest? Are we not most likely to have being capable leaders, you know, people taking over power but can do nothing? But who has the audacity to start determining who should be contesting? I think it is a right. A full figure can be appointed as a presidential advisor. Yes. Who tells you thinking, people of right thinking, uh, uh, of sound mind in society cannot contest? We are having youths that have tried to practice, uh, the, 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 uh, have engaged in democratic, I mean, uh, democratic uh, levels in society, like con uh, contesting and voting. Who tells you that they cannot apply this nationally? I think at the end of the day, what we are interested in as a nation is to give a, 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 a platform for everyone to exercise what they think. Because at the end of the day, democracy needs to choose right. If people can come in and start to contest, we who are voting can decide on whether those people are competent or not. We cannot at the onset, before they even try to give us their manifesto, before they come out and exercise their ability to serve, we say they are incompetent. It is basically because we have been fed in of what we think leaders should be. We need to let people be and exercise their right conscious that from then, after them presenting their manifesto and reading through their mind, we can now say we can vote for them uh, into these leadership positions. Otherwise, constitutionally it is right that everyone has the right to contest and from any political party, that's why you even have independence. But also the other thing, this government has proven that anyone can become. My dear, as you are speaking here, Butcherman is a, a, a presidential advisor. Are you getting the point? Uh, uh, ba ba Balam is a minister. But he has papers, he's capable. Yes, he's who? Balam. Of course Balam has papers, but I'm trying, I'm giving a narrative. If Balam ever came to, to, to contest for any con constituency, people would from onset say he is not able. And then the president is seeing a very good talent in him and he has given him the, 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 the mantle to serve. I think it is very important that we don't judge people from the onset, but we listen to them and thereafter uh, make decision from our conscience of whether they can be good leaders for this generation and also our country. But, but somebody would say Balam has been engaging youths and so if, if he came out any time to say he's contesting or doing what, somebody would say we already have work. To represent around. youths? He's a youth. Do you think Balam is a right representation of the youths? He's a youth. Of how, how old is Balam? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we consider somebody being a youth to be ranging from the age of course, uh, from, we can say from, uh, I should say, child mm -hmm. up to around 45. Yes. But, but, Balam is not beyond 45. What I'm that. saying, he's still, we have no issue with Balam yes. uh, being, uh, being a minister. Mm. Okay? Mm. What I'm trying to say is, I think we need to pick much more understanding of 
where we get the understanding that these are able, uh, able leaders or not. Because there are people that are, are to these positions and there will always be a challenge even after power. People up to today believe President Yoweri Kaguta Museven was not the best president for Uganda. Why is that if so? you put that debate, you ask members of the National Unity Platform whether President Yoweri Kaguta Museven is the best president for today. But in the time when he, he was a youth and was bringing all of this on board, mm. we, I mean, even when I was living in his time, I would have voted for him because he was the best representation of the solutions of the time then. That you now feel has changed. That now we feel it has changed and he has not yet realized that maybe it is time that he reconsiders that he needs to start training and mentoring other leaders mm. who he feels that probably could take on this country to another level, uh, to, an, to another, I mean, level than only staying in power and curtailing other people's, I mean, room for them to exercise freely and being presidents of this country. There are people that we have grown up with and they wanted to be presidents of Uganda. They, they, uh, as we grow up, the narrative continues to change because there is no hope uh, uh, as we head on. Okay, talking of mentorship is a question that we want to know in the second, uh, when we come after the break, we want to know, has President Museven tried to mentor youths who can come after him? Because according to him, he feels he has not done enough to mentor people that can come after him. We shall have to answer that question after this short break. You're still on the PowerPoint show. Your name is GDTV. I'm Jacob Junior Mungesi. Back from that short break, you're still with me, Jacob Junior Mungesi, here on the PowerPoint show on MGD TV. Uh, I'm still with Masaruka Robert, who has been the 89th pres guild president of Makere University and an aspiring member of parliament for Mokono South. But allow me to send my greetings to the people who are always watching our audience out there. Council Sam, thank you so much, Ivan, and all the rest who are always tuning in. The students at universities who take their time, take your data, and use it for such a thing that is building, uh, that uh, aims at building the nation, aimed at building people of importance, people of impact in our communities. Thank you so much for always keeping it at MGD TV, and we hope to bring you much and much better uh, information each time we come on your screens. I'm still with Honorable Maseruka. I think I'm going to call Honorable because I know anytime, you know, sometimes these are blessings, these guys, we are prophets so over. <laughs> but I'm not saying you're the next uh, member of parliament, <laughs> but I should say if you want wishes. Mm. So before we went for the break, I was talking about the uh, the leadership of President Museven, and uh, I was trying to ask you whether you really see President uh, Museven has done enough to mentor some people who can after, uh, come after him as you a youth because for you feel 
he's not the rightful person at the time. But if he's not the rightful person, it means sometimes these leaders, by the time they reach such an age, they have groomed some people. Do you see someone <laughs> on his side that he has groomed? Um, I think we need to be clear. Mm. A, a president uh, that has mentored now should be trying to address the public or talking to it about who they have mentored. Mm. Because we thought he had mentored the son, but uh, at, at the look of things, maybe it, it, it is not, or he is preparing him from better grounds. But also with all the understanding and the knowledge of the people that we have today, uh, uh, the Nobat Maus, the Mukasambi days, the Honorable Semujung Anders, the Honorable, uh, I, I, and very many others, uh, Lord Mayor, we have Dr. Chizabesiji and so on. I think for all the time they have been contesting, he must have seen one of them at least having having a vision of taking this country uh, forward. How about sharing the ideology? Because even he will want somebody sharing his ideology. Don't you think for the past years, mm. uh, Dr. Chizabesiji has been having an ideology? Don't you think Honorable Mao has been having an ideology? Don't you think even when they sit outside of the country, they can best represent this nation? Don't you think that the people that have been uh, his run, running mate, mm. can, can, hasn't he seen anyone? Because let me tell you, I've been contesting before. Mm. And there are people that you wish as a person that if I don't ever uh, become guilty president, at least no, this I... other person has good ideas. I, I think it is time that, that, that we put it to format and, and, and say uh, that President Yowei Rikaguta Museven will love him so much, mm. being that he has termed us his grandchildren. We love it so much, but we need now to, do you know, I'm giving an example in a family where you have a grandfather, yeah? Children always love the grandfather True. more than even the parent. You always play around with them. They always talk to us. Mm. Uh, the grandfathers give us stories. I think it is high time that President Yori Kaguta Museven mm. sits down and he starts putting all his knowledge and mind, because we need it as a country, into writing. Of course, he has written a few books, but they have only been telling us the story from when he was in the bush mm. and how he took over power. But now it is time that he writes more books about uh, speaking out his mind of what he thinks leadership is and how best a country such as Uganda can get to a better standard that in his mind he feels it should get to. But also mentorship will come from what we read and the works that he has done. We appreciate he has done a good work for this country, basing on where he found it. But it is now the best time that he, he allows other people pick it from where he has brought it to and take it to another level. You cannot tell me that for the last 40 years, mm. you are the holiest person that can be a leader in a country such as Uganda. Even with running means, otherwise as we would have just been appointing him. So to me, I feel he has good brains that he needs to put into writing. And through that we can read and we it from there in and pick knowledge because we feel at a point where we are living in, the president that is sitting right today and right now, he is not the best solution for the people that are exactly living in this time. We shall always appreciate what he did for fellow youths then. Mm -hmm. That even if we existed then, we would have, we would have supported Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. But the solution is that are required for a country such as this, where he has been there 40 years and corruption still surpasses, where he is still sitting and the roads are still looking the way they look, where uh, uh, children are still suffering in institutions that some have decided to leave even when they were, uh, for reason that they cannot afford tuition, that hospitals in Uganda are, 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 are an effect mm. to the mothers that they cannot even freely give birth because, I mean, there is worry before they even get there because of the facilities that are not enough. We feel we need some other different alternative to the leadership that we have today that basically represents the people of Uganda as we speak today. And you feel that NUP has that? That is why we are here. That's, that's what makes us here. Because, I mean, for all this time that we have been trying to 
check the government, bring alternative budgets of recent. We have seen to go, or uh, the leader of opposition, Honorable Joel Senyon, floating what he feels this country should be budgeting for than the big amounts of money that have been going into places the unknown. So this is what we are doing. We have given good alternatives for this government. And I think now this becomes our position. And when we ever get to power, we are already proving to Ugandans what we will do when we ever get there, that they may keep us in check because power comes from the people. Don't you think there is much more for uh, the youths to do other than just merely belonging to parties and speaking for parties that maybe that could change? Because even Museven uh, himself, when he was going to the bush, yes, he belonged to a party before, but then when he, was, when he entered the bush, he had to put the party things aside and mobilized youths. Don't you think maybe there is something still missing among the youths that has to be done for them maybe to... We, 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 let me tell you, the cause that we have today Necessarily, they may not even deserve a political party. And that is why, for a fact, uh, President uh, Senta Muchagulani started with a movement before it became a political party. And you saw youths bought into the ideas and the mind and what he was presenting. I think this is where we pick it from. That we may not think, because let me tell you, there are youths that are supporting the government. There are youths that are supporting uh, uh, the president that is sitting today. They are youths that belong to the NRM, which we respect. But our statement is, we can make something that is inclusive for all of us. That youths there, that youths from DP, that youths from NUB, youths from Unjema, mm -hmm. can all come together and make a statement. And that is what we are saying today. That ours is a representation of all the youths. We don't care which political combat. Uh, which political party they are coming from. But we are sure of the agenda that we are driving this nation to that they may be part of the fruits that we produce today. As we say, we are providing the best alternative for Uganda today. Uh, I was reading a book by uh, Nelson Mandela, and they said that uh, nature, rather than nature, is the primary mold of uh, personality. And of course, this personality thing is to do, also has something to do with the leadership and everything to do with the society. And uh, I saw an ex on the ex-account of one of your own, Abed Wanika, saying uh, he made some statement I was, and he was describing the politics of his own part, NUP, saying youth politics and he said uh, down there he put excitement, uh, making noise, singing, and he wrote a, a lot of things. But he's your own. Don't you think he's trying to disapprove the fact that for you saying that you see we are youths who have an ideology and we are aiming at something? It, should I say uh, the youths are not taking anything? You are not listening to your elders in the party? Uh, well, I, I, I think now you can pick uh, the point of view from where Abedi Wanika is coming from. When he was coming to the party, when he was being given the card and he had all the power of the youths, he never made such statements, mm. yeah? But I think some of those things could be part of what represents the person of what he is. Because as a political party, it is okay for people to be excited about the change of power. It is okay for people to buy into the idea. But that is not what defines us, okay? And I think a different members, we, 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 we are okay to listen from different members of parliament, but they also need to understand that there is a leader beyond them. You never outshine your master. You can never be bigger than your master. I think at the end of the day, we need to appreciate that even when David looked the way he looked, he was the leader of Israel. And I think that is where we are, the point where we are coming from. It does not matter which age that you have. Yes, it does not matter which type of experience you have. If you cannot get to a standard where you can advise, and I think this is where a certain fell, Lucifer fell short of, I think, the, the glory of God, and, 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 and he felt that he could outshine God. Even when you are not happy with God, that is not how you, I mean, that's not how you behave. And I think it gets to a point where, that even when you have, we have elders in the party, mm. we respect them so much. I've not seen people come out and uh, uh, abuse uh, Abedi Wanika, uh, b before he turned into what he has turned to now. But even the abuse or ridicule that he's receiving right now, it is because of the frustration yeah, that the people hold. Because people ha have a lot of hope in the party, including those that live in the party. And so if they feel there is anyone that is diverting away from what they think the cause of the national platform is, 
That is the frustration he's, re he's, he's receiving today, and that is what uh, he's giving as his reply. We are not, we, we, should be, we shouldn't be defined as excited, but if we are defined as excited, that is okay. We shouldn't be defined as hooligans, mm -hmm. but if we are defined as hooligans, it is okay. Because President Yori Kakuta Museveni was defined as an excited young man in the bush, was defined as a hooligan in the bush, and he managed to bring it to, to, to a point where Uganda uh, it is today. That is where we are picking it from. Whatever he faced, as youths of this generation, we are ready to face it as long as we, at the end of the day, know that this country will be getting to a better standard than it is now, and we are having appreciated the work that he has done for the country. Wow. So talking of representation, National Unity Platform is one of the parties that uh, have taken in parliament majority of the young leaders as members of parliament for the first time we are seeing many youths in the parliament don't you think they have also failed to change anything well for the first year or for the first time ever we are having the youngest leader of opposition and that is joel senyoni yes true i want you to read honorable joel senyoni as far as that yeah mm. we have political party activism i want you to start rating honorable nyeko from that point of view but we also need to understand um, the, the space that they have been given to, to, to outshine themselves and show this country that, of course, things can happen. Look at how they freely associate in the political part that when they say roads are bad mm. and the best alternative would be, now we need to plant. I think uh, banana plantation is in the roadside. That people know our dissatisfaction. You're going to find Honorable Chisa is there. You're going to find Honorable uh, Joel Senyin is there. Uh, His Excellency. You won't find Honorable Nyeko is there, you won't find Honorable Zake is there, you won't find different youths from, from wherever at local councils and so on involved into the activity. That should be really intriguing your mind to understand of what it means if they ever give them a platform to freely bring out their mind and I mean give Ugandans a platform of where they feel this country should be and how best they would perform it. So planting bananas and oats is proof enough that they can do better. Not really. I'm saying it should give you that if they are given alterna if they are given a platform to produce an alternative to this government, it shows you what they can be. If the platform is free and fair, if they can do that there, he who is good in the little, he can also handle the much. Put them into positions of responsibilities and check them out. And that draws, uh, that draws me to your constitution, that uh, Mkono North, where you want to... Mkono South. Mkono South, yeah. where you want to now contest still under the same political climate that you're talking of that has not given your colleagues the freedom to exercise what they can exactly do. True. So what makes you now come out even after knowing the, the climate is still the same? We fight for these spaces, and that is what we are doing today. If, it, if, if things can, if we are living in a country where we cannot be served on a silver plate, let us fight, let us fall into this uh, whatever suspense of rice and make sure we also get out what we feel other people can share with us. So what we are doing is fighting for our spaces. If I ever wake up and I feel I'm the best alternative for the people of Mukono South, if I ever stand up and think there are things in form of service delivery that are lacking and I stand up to speak for them, and I stand for them, and I stand democratically to be elected by the people of Mukono South over the same things that have been there for so long, then let me stand and let the voters choose who they think the best representation of their constituency is. So as somebody contesting from that side, uh, I know the person is there currently is also from the opposition, right? Yes. Kango Fed is opposition. Yes. And also coming from opposition. Yes. If he has felt work for them, do you yeah. think there is a possibility of again giving the battle from an opposition to an opposition where they expect nothing to change? I, I, I think it should be understood that whereas we have in the United States, mm. whereas we have different leaders from the Democratic Party in the, in, in the U.S., we have different changes that come as presidents stand. I hope you get the point. I guess it. This is not entirely about opposition. It can also get to the person of the member of parliament that you are. And how able are you to bring service delivery? How are you able to lobby for the people of your constituency? That much love. How are you looking at these different problems in the constituency? What have you done for the mothers that are 
uh, that are daily failing to give birth, what are you doing for the uh, violence uh, that, is, that is happening to the mothers? What are, you, what, what, what are you trying to do for the children that have failed to go to school because they're not able to petition, including the very uh, as, uh, as small numbers of government schools that are in our constituency? What are you trying to do for the youths that do not have jobs? Which alternative have you given them? How far have you made sure you open up their minds that may look at the next people as their opportunities for them to get to a better standard? That is what brings us, and at the end of that, it comes to the personality. You know, talking of students not going to, I mean, uh, youths not going to school and mothers dying because of poor health facilities and so forth. Someone who is a true Ugandan would tell you those are mere ideal policies that you're talking about that necessarily may fail to work out. True, but I'm saying that is what makes us Ugandans, that's what makes us, makes us citizens. That person should go to the United States of America where those facilities so, are there. I'm talking about a constituency that has uh, different islands mm -hmm. of water uh, surrounded by water and students cannot study. It is hard for them to cross from the islands to come to the land to study. I'm talking about the Wanainchis, I'm talking about people that cannot afford even a daily meal to survive. That is the constituency I'm talking about. It, I'm not talking about Kampala, probably where people can really summer or somewhere survive. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about people that go to school without uniforms, people that go to school without shoes. The people that I'm talking about, if you think these issues are just minor, it is because you have got to a standard where you are no longer affected by them. But soon, if you don't work so hard for yourself as well and the country as well, you may get to that standard. Those are people we are working for, and those are the right citizens of Uganda that we need to pull up and get to a certain standard of level. So what, what, what proves you are the rightful candidate for that position on that side? Whatever proves me right will be coming from the constituents. <laughs> Those who feel that uh, I, 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 I have a, a, a sound mind to front, their, yeah. to front their ideas. But also, secondly, I've been there and I've tested this leadership. Mm. I would have described to you how big a good president, especially of Makerere University, is mm. to this nation. When I'm talking about lobbying for people, I know what it means because I've been there. When I'm talking about education, I've been in an, an institution of learning. Mm. That is Makerere University. I know which offices to talk to. Yes, when such instances come around and people do not have tuition. I've actually gone a mile and I've gone to my constituency to help a few people that have finished senior six to come to the university. So at least I know the process, I know where to start from if I, it means service delivery and helping people in there. Ah, uh, with that I may not have much to ask, but then uh, maybe just your last words as you wrap up this. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best thing to know now. Yeah, first of all, I would love to to thank the MGD media. Yeah, yeah I, I've seen you trend and uh, I'm seeing very good work that is moving on. I hope, I, I hope it never stops there. But also ending, and I'm urging all youths wherever you are, that this country belongs to all of us. And what we are advocating for is equality and equity as far as service delivery is concerned. No matter the political party you are belonging, no matter your tribe, no matter your religion, no matter your society and where you're coming from, this country is a country for all of us. And adding those in power, including the sitting president, that probably it is the time that you allow youths, just like you were, that you give them an alternative to provide the solutions to this country like you did then. We may not need necessarily to get guns and get back to the bush. That's why I'm saying that was a solution. Then, Him getting guns and running to the bush with 27 of his colleagues made sense then. Now it doesn't make sense. We need other alternatives to the problems that we have today. Solutions require different methodologies of how we are going to approach and get to answers. And it is time that he writes a book that we may read from there in. And he, when he is giving up power, at least he has the confidence that he has met a few people. Probably if, generation, if, if he feels the best president, when the generation is going, diverting from what he feels it should be heading, he has the confidence that he has written the books and he has left the knowledge there in for us to read. And so I'm encouraging all the youths out there that it is the time for, from whichever political party you're coming from, from whichever tribe, that we may involve ourselves in the national issues because at the end of the day they affect us to the least that no one can imagine. That we may stand up for this generation and be proactive and transform it to a standard and a level where we, our children, 
our fathers and mothers may be confident to live in. Wow, that has been Maseru Karobat, the 89th Guild President of Makere University and also an aspiring uh, candidate for the Member of Parliament, Mukono South. As for us, MGD TV here and as PowerPoint, we dedicated ourselves to educating and informing you, our audience, and also calling you to action, calling you to take action wherever you are, that whatever you get from here, whatever information you get from here, you assess it and take in what works for you and take action thank you so much those who have been uh, following us who have been watching and also thank you those who keep commenting who keep liking those who keep coming in my inbox and telling me they want sun 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 so please i've dedicated myself to do that and mgd team has dedicated itself to do that so ever you ask for will be brought see you tomorrow as i will be bringing uh, honorable wembo habib right back here till next time bye bye